Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Steve Kenworthy, Mr. K. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would like for you to do so. Uh, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are updated. So today we're going to continue on with our uh, grammar lesson for ESL. And this one's going to be on what they call affixes. Uh, you may have heard of prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes and suffixes. So we're going to be doing some prefixes and we're going to be doing some suffixes. I'm going to explain them to you. And then we're going to have some exercises, some activities where we will put these into use. Okay, so here first we'll look at the prefixes. These aren't all the prefixes, but these are some of the very common ones. A prefix is a set of letters which is added to the beginning of a word to change its meaning. To the beginning. And it also uses pre, which actually is a prefix in, of itself. Now here are some of the common ones. This column has the prefix, this one has the meaning, and this one has an example. So here are some of these. Dis, dis, and that would be added to the beginning of, the, of a root word. Not, opposite of. Example would be disagree. The root word here would be agree, and the prefix added to that is this, which means makes it kind of turn around to be the opposite, not or the opposite of. Now there are several of these that have to do with not, but they're not necessarily interchangeable. Sometimes you'll use in or this or im or something uh, un down here. Okay. Another one. Uh, this is a pair. In and im. I n and I m to the beginning of a word. This also means not. Example would be incorrect, incorrect, so correct and incorrect, not correct. And then im, the root word of that would be possible, and the prefix would be im, I am, meaning not possible or impossible. Okay? Another common prefix is miss, M-I-S, which means incorrectly. The root word for this one would be understand and misunderstand, misunderstand. Re, R-E is another common prefix. Re means again, such as redo. The root word here would be do. And redo would be mean to do again. Redo, repeat. That's a prefix re, meaning to do it again. Another one is un, un, which also means not. Uninteresting. So interesting would be the root word. And when you put un at the beginning of it, it changes its meaning not interesting, uninteresting. And this one is under. Under means below, lower, or not enough, such as underwater. So you've got water and then underwater, below in this case. Okay, these are some of the common prefixes, and now we'll go into the suffixes. A suffix is a set of letters which is added to the end of a word to change its form, or in some cases to change, which will also change its meaning. Okay, a suffix. So here's some of the common suffixes. These are common adjective suffixes. Some of the common adjective suffixes are able, ible, and it's pronounced able, or able, meaning is able to be. An example would be terrible, and here's the root word, here's the suffix is I-B-L-E, or in some cases it's A-B-L-E, such as capable, adorable. Another one is full, F-U-L, full means full of, so the root word on this is beauty, 
although it's spelled with a Y, and then it's changed in the form, that Y is changed, and then the suffix added to it is F-U-L. So, full of beauty, beautif beautiful. L-E-S-S -S means not having or without. So we've got the root word tooth, and then if we add a suffix onto it, it's going to change that form. Toothless means without teeth, toothless, without teeth. Those are some of the, these are, whenever these are added, it makes it into the form of a, an adjective. It is an adjective, a word which describes something. Okay? Now here are some of the common noun suffixes. D-O-M, dumb, place or state of being. If we had a root word free, and then we added D-O-M to it, it would become a noun, it's a, a noun with that suffix meaning freedom. The new word becomes freedom. Place or state of being free. Freedom. Okay? E-R means a person who does, such as worker, teacher, things like that. Anything, it's, a, it's a, a noun, a person, a person who does something. Baker. Okay? And then M-E-N-T, M-E-N-T, meant action or a learned process. So if we're going to pay something, we have a bill and then we're going to pay it. We've got pay and then we add M-E-N-T, becomes a payment, the action of making, uh, paying something. And the last one on here is N-E-S-S. -S. Ness, state of being, we're happy, the state of being, happy, H-A-P-P-Y, of course, and then we change that Y to an I and add N-E-S-S -S to it, and it becomes happiness, the state of being happy, happiness. Okay, so those are some of the common prefixes and suffixes. Okay, here is a prefix exercise using some of the prefixes that we went over a little while ago, and we're going to be inserting these within these sentences into the blank. So we're going to be using dis, D-I-S, in, I-N, un, U-N, miss, M-I-S, under, and re. Okay, here's sentence number one. I just can't believe it. The story is blank believable. So we've got believe, believable, and we're going to change the meaning of it by adding a prefix. Okay, so which one are we, are we going to use then? The correct one is un- UN unbelievable or not believable unbelievable or not believable the second one no that answer is blank correct it is wrong so we're going to change the meaning of it it's not correct it's wrong so it is incorrect incorrect which also means not not correct okay it is wrong okay. number the next one the third one let's look at this information again we should blank view it before the test. So we're going to look at it again, which of those prefixes, which of those prefixes means to do it again? Okay, it is this one, R-E, we should review it, review it 
view it again, look at it again, we should review it before the test. The next one. I saw Jennifer just a moment ago, but now I can't find her. It seems that she blank appeared. She, and we're going to use this one. She disappeared. So we can't find her. She disappeared. And of course, all of these are one word. Unbelievable. Incorrect. Review. Disappeared. We're just adding a prefix, changing the meaning of it. Okay. And the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you correctly. I blank understood. This is one word. Misunderstood you. I misunderstood you. I didn't hear you correctly. I misunderstood you. And the last one. The subway does not go over the land like a normal train. It moves. It's a subway. It is sub under one word it is underground we're going to do some adjective suffixes and some noun suffixes now the uh, examples so we've got adjective suffixes the three are able like lovable or capable F-U-L and L-E-S-S. -S. These are adjectives. An adjective is a word which describes something. A word which describes something. Okay. So when we add these types of suffixes onto it, it means we are describing something. So here we go, the first one. The woman always wants to move. She always wants to move. She's moving around. She can't sit still. Um, she wants to move. She is, which one would fit in here? A-B-L-E, F-U-L, or L-E-S-S? -S? Which one makes sense here? Is it restable, restful, or restless? It's this one, L-E-S-S. -S. So she is Restless, always moving, can't stand still. Okay. Restless, without rest, unable to rest. The next one, the dog is very cute. He's A-D-O-R. So which one of these are we going to add on? Which suffix are we going to show about the dog? He's adorable. The dog is adorable. He has the ability to be adored. The next one. Anna cannot remember anything. She's very forget is the root word here. She's very forgetful. She's very forgetful. It just changes the form of it. It means she can't remember anything. She's just forgetful. Those are some of the adjective suffixes. And now in exercise C, we're going to have some of the noun suffixes. There are four of them. D-O-M. E-R. M-E-N-T and N-E-S-S. -S. I teach science in a big university. I am a physics 
someone who does something, someone who teaches, is called a, of course, a teacher. Okay, so the, the uh, suffix here is er, meaning someone who does something, someone who teaches is a teacher. Someone who bakes is a baker. Okay. The next one, Sir Alan is King Richard's best knight. He is the most important knight in Richard's whole king. So which one are we going to put in here? He is the most important knight in Richard's whole... The suffix here is D-O-M. He is the most important knight in Richard's whole kingdom. He is the most important knight in Richard's whole kingdom. The next one, Andrea is my best friend. Andrea is my best friend. The best thing about her is her kind, is her kind, N-E-S-S -S is the correct suffix here. The best thing about her is her kindness. Andrea is my best friend. The best thing about her is her kindness. Okay, and the last one, the kids always have fun together. They never disagree or have an argue. What suffix could we put in here to have the correct form? Well, it's going to be the M-E-N-T. Never have an argument. Get this one. The root here, word here was actually A-R-G-U-E, but we drop, we drop the E when we add that suffix onto it, so it becomes argument without the, without the E. Argument is the correct suffix. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on prefixes and suffixes. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also remember to hit the notification bell so you can remain updated. We'll be putting out another uh, gr grammar lesson in a few days. Thank you so much. I appreciate your uh, coming along with me on this these ESL lessons. Thank you very much. Bye for now. And do take care of yourself. If you want to visit my Facebook page, I hope you do. It's Steve K. ESL on my Facebook page. Take care of yourself. And bye for now.